but it is just a leather belt. Um, and I'm, I'm kind of scared to do this part of it. Hello, this is Patriot in the Dark. Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're going to go over two new Core Essential Tactical Gun Belts. Now, in all honesty, I've been wearing Core Essential Belts for almost five years now. I've bought maybe 11 or 12 of these belts. Um, I've done a couple videos. In one of the earlier videos, I had stated some issues I was having. So Core reached out to me shortly after and let me know that the belt I was reviewing was an earlier generation that are no longer made. So they had made some improvements. So they actually sent me two new belts. Uh, this video is for that new, the lucky new gun owner that has decided to exercise their rights for concealed carry, as well as those individuals that feel a leather belt or a work belt is sufficient to carry. Now we're gonna do some demonstrations with a double stack uh, 1911, a para ordinance P14-45 limited and 45 ACP, a uh, pretty heavy pistol. And hopefully that will kind of uh, open your eyes to wearing a gun belt. So with that, let's check it out. <laughs> So Core Essentials, their link is in the description below, as are all the specs for the belts that I'm going to cover, which are the, the gun belts. Um, so make sure you check out the description just in case I forget something. But uh, the basic difference between uh, the Core Essential belts and regular gun belts, and I guess as regular belts, period, are that this is actually a track belt. It does have... Uh, you can see this here um, on the inside towards the end of the belt you do have uh, it's about 40 plus adjustments on here it's a stepped uh, ratchet system that they use right and this is actually built into the belt so it's not going to peel off or break apart and so basically you take your pant size and add four is what they say I add a little extra, like six inches or so, and then you can kind of obviously adjust it from there. But you basically you take uh, sharp scissors, cut it off, make sure you do it nice and square, and then it inserts into the buckle, all right? So on their buckle, if we look at the back side here, uh, basically you stick your belt inside the socket, all right? And that one of the big differences between their first gen and the rest of these uh, belts are that the sockets are a lot deeper all right and so once you stick your belt inside you basically flip over the teeth clamp right and the teeth on this clamp uh, bite into obviously your belt and with with that when you have a, a motion of pulling the buckle trying to pull it off your belt that teeth dig in and it it's in the direction that keeps it nice and tight all right um, added onto these these newer buckles also it has two set screws which come in a bag with uh, the allen key and you uh, feed them in they're a pointed set screw so it actually digs into the belt all right and that's actually on the frame of the buckles now towards the front of the buckle where your belt so I'll probably use this one right here put it in this right way um, as you insert the buckle or the belt into the buckle and push it through, once you hit those teeth, the spring-loaded tab actually locks into the step uh, teeth on here. And this is in quarter-inch intervals. So you can really adjust the, the tightness or if you need to loosen it up a little bit, when you're driving, you can just reach down. Um, there is a release tab on the bottom of the buckle and you just use your finger and push it away from your body. And then it, that releases that tab, right? So if you're sitting in a car, you can just reach down and open it up if it's a little too tight. Um, these belts, as far as the leather and the tactical belt, they come, uh, in, like I said, in a long, long piece and you cut it to fit they're adjustable from 24 inch to 44 inch with the regular belt they do have an ex uh, a large and an extended large 
which uh, go all the way up to, I believe, a 72 inch waist. So you can, can fit it, but I do suggest cut it a little long and then uh, uh, cut it and trim it down as needed, you know, to get the proper fit. Um, because I wear on the outside and the inside of the belt, um, I, I have that little bit of extra and usually have about five inches or so, they say, of adjustment in between, you know, once you have that, that length already cut so that you can have it out a little bit since your, your pistol's on the inside or, you know, pull it a little tighter if it's on the outside and you can still use the same belt. There's four or five, maybe six different buckles. Um, they're, they come cut different colors. Uh, and the belts, obviously, they come in different. The leather is brown and black. And the tactical, since it's nylon, they have a variety of colors. But all mine should be black, since good guys wear black. Um, let's see. One of the other differences with... Take this off. You have a, the new belt loops for the belts are they have a, a spring to them so they're elastic right so they're loose enough where you know it's not it's not something tight and you really got to work the belt in but it does grip on the belt a little bit better the older style was actually a velcro strap right and there's no give on that and so if you adjust it you know you pretty much have to adjust it before you put it on because otherwise the velcro is in the back um, so the new style is a lot easier to put on and it does hold uh, the end of the belt better. Now they do have, actually they sent them, I've never used them because the way I wear my belt, I wear it off to the side. So instead of on my gig line, I push it off to the side so that the end of the belt sticks across the front and so the buckle's not right on my uh, button or whatever. With that, I'll show you. One of the things with the tactical belts, obviously they're really stiff and rigid, right? And so once you put that through the belt loop, you know, that, that stiff belt, that uh, excess is sticking out. And, you know, you don't want to have that just dangling. So they do have, do I have that thing? Here it is. Like I said, I haven't used it, but it's basically the same material that your belt loop is and it's just a longer sleeve that goes onto your belt and then as you uh, apply it you can put the end of your belt in there and so it holds it tight so you're not going to get that caught on anything uh, depending on what you're working on or whatever there's nothing going to get underneath that loose tab All right sorry um, i took a piece of the excess of the belt um, and i kind of tore it open so as you can see here this is the nylon web outer shell of a tactical belt, right? And then it's obviously stitched, double stitched on each side. On the inside, you have their power core, which is trademarked, but this is the stiffener. It's kind of a shank style uh, thing that keeps your belt more rigid, right? And the back of the belt is what they call a super fiber. This is sweat and water resistant. Um, one of the things I do like about these is that once you have the cinch down, that extra, uh, that material, it actually locks in pretty nice and it doesn't slip around like a normal leather belt that can have a little bit of motion. And when you have it on, I like to stay in one spot so that, you know, my pistol doesn't move or anything. So, uh, but that core is what stiffens the belt up more than your normal belt. You know, the belt's been easy this way, pretty comfortable. Um, but as far as the twist, you know, it's, it's rigid compared to a normal leather belt. This is just a leather belt, right? And you can tell the difference just from the twist on a normal belt. And, you know, for those that, that think that they can get away with just wearing a normal belt, um, the, the, stiffness of this belt is going to support a pistol a lot better than just a normal work belt and i know this is thin it's not like a real work belt but um, that extra thickness um, doesn't you know over time you'll get those divots from your your belt loops depending on if you carry th heavy things on your belt um, on a normal belt 
They just don't stand up. All right, for this demonstration, I'm going to use my para ordnance P1445 Limited. It is a all stainless steel double stack 1911. And we'll verify that it is clear. All right, there's no mag. Now I'm going to lock this up. I will use a mag with ammo in it just for the weight. But as you see, I did not cock it, All right? So here we go. All right, so I'm going to use uh, the tactical belt, which is the Core Essentials tactical belt. And this is an open top, outside the waistband, leather holster from Craft Holsters. And we'll actually slide it in here. All right, so this pistol is kind of on the extreme end for me because it is extremely heavy. And this is outside the waistband. And we're going to show... As I fold this up here, we will insert some more of the belt loop is. All right. Now, normally the pistol obviously is, is against your leg, right, or your, your side. You have your two uh, belt loops about that portion. That's why I'm going to hold it here because that's pretty much on any any side of your pant you're going to have it it's probably going to be a lot closer but as far as picking it up well you're going to flop like that but um, as far as the stability you know it doesn't sag I mean obviously it's going <laughs> to if you're laying on your side and you're, it's not against your body it might sag a little more all right so that's pretty heavy and keeping it pretty much under control uh, this is just the regular leather belt right it might not be as thick as a normal work belt but it is just a leather belt um, and i'm i'm kind of scared to do this part of it because there is there is no no stiffness in this belt um, and what what is this supposed to show why am i doing this um, if something is uncomfortable inconvenient or you know it hurts you're not going to do it you're not going to carry and you're going to end up just leaving it because ah, it's it's a bother and why have a concealed carry if you're not going to do it every day or when you need to with that check out core essentials their info like i said is in the description um, if you have any questions leave them below make it an outstanding day and never for the dark find yourself at a barbecue and come across a fine young lady in distress because nobody has a bottle opener you can just say excuse me ma'am I got this pop open your belt and place the cap under this little tab here and then open her beer give it back to her and you could be a hero